Thalassophobia is one of the most popular fears in the world due to the frightening depths of the ocean and no land masses in sight. Being stranded in the middle of the ocean surrounded by nothing but sea water and possibly circling sharks around you doesn't sound like a good time. This list here is going to be 11 thriller movies that take place in the water where frightening things can take place at any second. They range from being stranded with a broken boat in the middle of the Pacific to being devoured by hungry killing piranha at a lake in Arizona. There will be spoilers throughout this video so you do not have to worry about the endings being ruined for you. With that said, here we go. Number 11. The Reef. 2010. In this 2010 open water horror, Luke welcomes his friend Matt and his girlfriend Susie that come from London and Matt's sister and Luke's former girlfriend Kate that comes from Sydney, Australia to sail with him and the seaman expert Warren in a sailboat. However, the vessel hits an underwater rock unexpectedly and the boat capsizes with an opening on her bottom. Now with the boat flipped over on its side, they are stranded in the middle of the ocean with an upside-down boat and no help in sight. Luke says that they should swim north to reach Turtle Island which is a secluded island in the area and the current of the ocean is going in the opposite direction. But Warren advises that they wouldn't make it and the swim is way too far plus there are hungry sharks everywhere around them. Warren thinks they should stay in the flipped boat until the Coast Guard comes. But the others aren't so sure that any help would ever come and they would rather take their chances swimming instead of dying of thirst and hunger on the boat. Can they make the swim with the sharks watching their every move? Number 10. Open Water to Adrift 2006. The sequel to the 2003 horror movie Open Water where a couple was left stranded in the middle of the ocean with no boat or people anywhere nearby and they sadly died from a shark attack. In this one, six best friends, three men and three women who've known each other since high school, set out on an exciting sailing trip, taking along traumatized Amy's baby daughter, Sarah. Everything is going swell until one of the guys decides to throw Amy in the water from the boat despite her fear of water, and soon everyone else is swimming as well. When it is time to go check on the baby inside the boat, they have no way back on the boat as Dan, the boat owner, forgot to lower the ladder and the boat is too tall to climb up. As the baby's cry sends chills down the spine, more and more, visible despair, physical and mental fatigue, and raw fear start to get the best of the friends, who are now blaming each other. Now, this could be their last mistake however, under those circumstances, there's no going back and whether they like it or not, they will all have to set their differences aside and come up with a solution. Can they survive the vast open water? Number 9. Open Water 3 Cage Dive 2017 And the next movie in the open water franchise following a drift is Open Water 3 Cage Dive. To capture thrilling, face-to-face -face encounters with deadly great white sharks, the young thrill-seekers, Josh's half-brother, Jeff, and Jeff's girlfriend, Megan, set off to the vast and unforgiving Australian coast to go cage diving. As the adventurous friends start filming an audition tape for an extreme reality TV show in the relative safety of their heavy shark cage, a towering wave capsizes their small boat, stranding the reckless trio in the cold water with no signs of help coming. Now, as the day grows dim, and raw fear gets the best of the defenseless trio, a famished school of man-eating oceanic predators start closing in on them, turning their recording into a bloody diary of death. Do they have what it takes to survive the open water with the sharks and wait for help to come? Number 8. 47 Meters Down 2017. Planning to spend a cheerful vacation in Mexico with her boyfriend, instead, Lisa invites her adventurous younger sister, Kate, to have the time of their lives. Soon, the two sisters will meet a couple of friendly locals at the bar one night, who in the spur of the moment, convince the girls to join them on a shark diving excursion to get a close-up look of the magnificent 25-foot great white sharks in the safety of an enclosed cage. Hesitantly, Lisa agrees however, Things will take an unexpected turn, when, due to sudden mechanical failure with the winch, the heavy cage plummets 47 meters down to the ocean seabed, in shark-infested waters. Now, the only place safe is inside the confined space of the rickety cage nevertheless. How long will it take the monstrous oceanic predators to break it? The two girls must find a way to communicate with the guys on the boat, but being so deep makes that pretty difficult. Also the girls can't get out of the cage and ascend too fast or they will get the bends and die. How will they make their way to the surface safely with sharks all around them while swimming very slowly? It'll be a tough task, that is for sure. Number 7. 47 Meters Down Uncaged 2019. This sequel to 47 Meters Down takes the franchise in a different direction and not stuck in a shark cage like the previous entries on this list. Against all logic, Mia, a teenage outcast and inexperienced diver, reluctantly accepts the invitation of her stepsister, Sasha to explore the ruins of a sunken Mayan city along with her friends, 
Alexa and Nicole. But there, deep in the inhospitable system of submerged caves, a silent and highly evolved shark species awaits, and even the slightest mistake could be their last. Now, trapped in the intricate watery prison as they lost their way from where they went in, the girls have no other choice but to fight tooth and nail for their lives against these evolved sharks, as their already limited air supply is rapidly depleting. In 47 meters down, nothing but a rickety cage stood between the trapped girls and certain death. This time, there's no cage. Is there an escape from the labyrinthine, shark-ridden death trap or will the girls just end up being dinner for the sharks in the cave system? Number 6. Deep Blue Sea. 1999. Close to finding a cure for Alzheimer's, a group of scientists have been using genetically engineered intelligent-like sharks as experiments to come close to benefiting mankind. Little do they know before they can save millions of lives, they'll have to find a way to save their own. When the facility gets torn down the now intelligent sharks have found their way into the facility that is now sinking with the scientists trying to find a way to the surface, while the sharks are tracking them down one by one. Possibly now the world's smartest sea creature, the escape for the scientists is not going to be easy and they are going to have to think outside of the box if they want to survive. The group also has to deal with some egomaniacs that are still alive and are thinking about themselves instead of trying to get everyone to safety. Will any help ever arrive because even if they do get to the surface, their station is still going beneath the water and they will drown with no outside help. Number 5. Shark Night. 2011. When you think about great white sharks, you mainly think about the ocean and that's where they live. But in this one, somehow the sharks have made their way into an inland lake with fresh water. To blow off some steam, Sarah and her college friends from Tulane University gather for an exciting weekend at her family's island retreat in the middle of this same lake. But before long, what started as the perfect vacation will soon turn into a blood-soaked nightmare, as one of the group loses an arm while wakeboarding. Now, completely cut off from the outside world, the team rushes to the nearest hospital on a small motorboat, only to realize that these same waters are infested with the ferocious school of famished sharks. But what drove the oceanic apex predators to seek refuge in the secluded lake? Can the remaining survivors get out of the water in one piece, and what is the town going to do about these sharks now in their private reservoir? A shark-infested lake probably not too enticing for future vacation renters. Number 4. The Meg. 2018. Five years ago, expert sea diver and naval captain Jonas Taylor, played by badass Jason Statham, encountered an unknown danger in the unexplored areas of the Mariana Trench that forced him to abort his mission and regrettably abandon half his crew. Though the tragic incident earned him a dismissal from the service, what ultimately cost him his career— his marriage and any semblance of honor was his unsupported and incredulous claims of what caused the situation. He says it was an attack on his vessel by a mammoth, 70-foot sea creature, believed to be extinct for more than a million years, the megalodon shark. But when a submersible lies sunk and disabled at the bottom of the ocean, carrying his ex-wife among the team on board, he is the one who gets the call to complete the rescue. Whether a shot at redemption or a suicide mission— Jonas must confront his fears and risk his own life and the lives of everyone trapped below on a single question could the megalodon, the largest marine predator that ever existed, still be alive and on the hunt? Will Jonas be proven right about all of the bad juju that people had dumped on him for just telling his side of the story, and will he get an apology? Number 3. The Shallows. 2016. After losing her mother, the medical student Nancy dumps the medical school in Galveston and travels to Mexico hitchhiking to a hidden beach that her mother loved when was young. She brings a backpack and a surfboard to surf and she meets two surfers that warn about the low and high tide schedule coming that day. They leave the sea, but Nancy decides to stay a little longer so she can catch the last few waves of the day. When she sees a dead whale floating on the water, she swims close to the animal and is surprised by a great white shark. She is bitten on the leg and uses her medical knowledge to survive on a rock nearby. But the high tide is coming and the shark does not plan on leaving her alone but Nancy knows that she must find a way to shore because either way, she's going to end up in the water. Can she outsmart the shark and swim her way to shore and to safety? Number 2. Shark Bait. 2022. Five friends go partying in Mexico for spring break, and they spend most of the time partying. On their last day, they decide to be rebels and they steal a couple jet skis that had the keys in them on the shore, and they drive them out to sea. The sets of friends aren't very good drivers and they accidentally crash into each other, and one of the guys has his leg broken, and then the jet skis are both trashed and unable to start now. One of the skis actually sinks to the bottom of the ocean, so all they have is one broken ski for five criminal friends. They slowly start to realize that the current is sweeping them away from land, and if they wait too long, 
they will go out too far with no chance in hell at making the swim back. One of the guys offers to swim to shore and get help to come out there and rescue the others, but once he starts his journey to the beach, a vicious shark shows up and devours him right in front of everyone else. The group knows they are in grave danger, but will they find a way to get back to the shore and not be the next meal for the sharks or are they all burnt tuna? Number 1. Piranha 3D. 2010. With spring break just around the corner, Julie Forrester, the local sheriff of the small community of Lake Victoria, Arizona, already has enough on her plate. As the peaceful coastal town is overrun by wild partygoers and college kids for spring break, a violent underwater tremor sets free multitudes of vicious prehistoric killer piranha, triggering a savage feeding frenzy on anyone in the water. Now, as the killer fish run amok, Sheriff Forrester and an unlikely team of perfect strangers must work together to keep order before the brutal predators turn the lake into an endless, all-you-can-eat buffet. But can they put an end to the carnage and save the town? Well, that is it for this list. Are there any other good water thriller movies that should be on the list? I would love to watch them. Thanks for watching.